what to write on your profile to attract that young man that you are looking for. Every profile that would attract a person must portray your personality. Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel once again. In today's video, I'm sharing what to write on your profile for you to attract the right guy. Every great profile you read, which you love and you know, kind of feel attracted to the person and want to know the person well, shows layers of the person's personality. A great profile that will attract someone must show your personality. That is how you attract someone and the person feels a sense of, hmm, let me take a step to get to know this person. So how do we do this? Number one, your write-up should demonstrate what you would love and appreciate in a man, but not like expectations you are looking for. Okay, so there is a way to put that in a writing. For instance, it would be a great honor to meet a man with a kind heart who is generous and family oriented. So this is like something you are, you are telling the person, these are the things I would appreciate in a man. Okay, you are not telling them that you must be this, this, this. That's like expectations that the person must meet. Okay, but you are trying to say, I would be appreciative if you possess these things. Number two, don't say things you do not want to see in a man. For instance, you put on your profile, if you are not family oriented, don't even try contacting me. If you are not looking for marriage, don't contact me. If you are not here for a serious relationship, don't contact me. Don't put that there on your profile because these are some of the things that irritates men or it kind of put them off. Okay, so things that you do not want to see in a man, do not put them at all on your profile. You know for sure men will write to you and say, send me pictures, do this and that. You know that for sure. But don't put those things on your profile saying, don't send me this or don't ask me this. Don't put those things there. Just put the positive stuff that you want to see in a man on your profile. Point number three is show that you are fun to be with. Don't just say, I am fun to be with, but show that you are fun to be with in activities and things that you love to do. For example, a very good day for me would be going out, hiking in the mountains, camping on top of a mountain. This is something that would attract somebody because you have put this in words. Someone who also is interested in camping and hiking will see that as a fun thing to do. Okay. And that person will definitely contact you. So don't, don't just say, I am fun to be with. How are you fun to be with? Point number four, demonstrate that you are down to earth. How are you down to earth? Someone who is down to earth is humble. Someone who is down to earth is ready to know you, to understand you. Okay. The person is not arrogant. So you have to sound humble and, you know, ready to learn, ready to, to explore. All right. Someone who is down to earth, that is the person. So demonstrate how down to earth you are personally in your statement. Don't just say I am down to F. All right. Because when I come to your profile and you say I am down to F, you are just telling me you are, but how do I know you are? I only know you are when you put it in a statement telling me what you have done or what you do that makes you down to F. Point number five, please show your sense of humor when writing uh, on your profile. Don't be boring in writing. Don't just write like a, a, a statement. You just, I am this, I have this, I have, this is my qualification, but put it in a very, very, very fun way. Say something that like, it might be in a negative, but you put it in a very um, beautiful way, a way that gets someone to say, oh, this person is definitely, you know, fun to be with or has a sense of humor. Demonstrate that you are independent and responsible. You don't just say, I am independent and responsible, please. Demonstrate it. What shows that you are independent? I am a hardworking teacher living by myself, okay? I am a fashion designer who own my own business or I have three businesses or, you know, things that make someone see that you are definitely independent. It's not just about saying I am independent. Uh, activities that you are in, you engage in. Independence also means that you are in charge of yourself. You don't, you don't fall prey to um, influences, okay? You are someone who is in control of your life, okay? You are not easily moved by things you see. You are not easily swayed away. 
So this is what I mean by demonstrate your independence and responsibility. Put it in a statement that not just saying I am independent and responsible, but show it in a sentence that demonstrate mm -hmm. you as a person and what you do that shows you are independent and responsible. Also put one of your fun dreams that you have that you want to do or you want to participate in put it on your profile as well for instance i would really really love to travel to finland where i would go riding on a scooter on a frozen lake even though it's scary i can't wait to have a try of this this will definitely attract someone who is also interested in doing something of that sort or someone who actually lives somewhere that does that every day, meaning that the person kind of feels like, oh, I think we have something in common and I want to take a step to know this person. Final point, there should be a call to action. When you put all these beautiful write-ups about yourself, okay, and you say all that you want to see, you now have to put a call to action. Call to action, I mean, invite him, okay, to send you a message. Let me just try to see if I can do something. My name is Rita Xiao. I am a hardworking teacher. I love children and they make my day. My perfect day would be out there in the woods, hiking on the mountain and climax it with an amazing campfire whilst looking at the stars. So this is something simple that I've put together. I just off head just put something together right now. Okay, now how do I put my call to action? If you are the kind that loves nature, hiking, doing activities outdoor, then, well, don't hesitate to message me. I would love to get to know you and go on that date with you. You know, something of this sort makes the person feel like, oh, I want to talk to this person. All right. So be very creative. This is where you get creative. This is where you put all your styles in writing on your profile demonstrating who you really are so that the person gets to know you there, you know, before even getting to meet you in person. Because I mentioned in uh, one of my videos that you must have common interests. If I do not have common interests with you, then why would I want to message you? If I do not have anything that attracts me about you, then why would I even want to message you? So please, when writing on your profile, write things that brings out your personality, about your career, about your uh, personal life, about what you do for fun, stuff like that. Please be creative. All I'm trying to say is, please, don't go there and write things that you do not want to see in a man. We all know what we don't want to see in a man, but focus more on the positive. Secondly, don't go on there and make somebody feel like um, you have a specific expectations and you want them to meet that. No, rather make them feel like, oh, these are the things that I appreciate about a man. Also, don't go and just say I am down to earth, but demonstrate in your sentences, in your speaking, like things that makes you really, really look down to earth. You also show that you are independent and responsible. Don't just say I am independent and responsible, but mention things about you that indicates to anybody that reads it that you are independent and responsible some of us might not be very funny but then try as much as possible to create some fun around your writing so that it is not boring like you are just giving a lecture or something just try to be a little fun final thing don't forget to put the call to action that is the most important part of it because you have now said everything about you and the person really likes what he has read and what he has seen encourage him to send you a message so that you don't even have to you know do the work of sending him a message all right that's it apart from that don't forget the most important thing good quality pictures of you you should be looking beautiful and good but you know don't go there in a bra and bikini and showing the the goodies that a person has to really fight to have you know, don't go and expose all those goodies already to the person. Then what attracts him? What then, then, then what, why would he even want to pay to travel across the ocean to just come and meet you? It's like he's already seen them. He's already have everything already. So why would he even take the step? I hope that this video has been very useful to you. 
if you have enjoyed it then please subscribe to this channel and also leave a nice comment down there don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime a new video is up you will be notified thank you all so much for watching and i appreciate you i'll see you in my next video bye